That guy. Game of the year winner is Elder Ring. Why are you running? Why are you running? You 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 hear it? Yup, Elder Ring won. Yup. Okay. I never I never thought that Jeff Kelly was gonna do the right thing. I can't believe I stuck up for him. I feel like I've been stabbed in the heart. The only thing this game had was difficulty, and if you add an easy mode, half the player base would disappear. But okay, whatever. Yeah, that's game of the year. Let's see what happens in 2023. How many of these Souls players will still be playing that game? Probably zero. The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you. Elder Ring. Yeah, what the? Unfortunately, you are maidenless. That's it. I ain't watching no more. I'm done. Ain't nothing else I need to watch. I'm done. We're done. When I say we're done. And uh, you know what? Take your victory laps, have your fun, whatever Elden Ring game of the year, but we all know what happened, man. It ain't really a game of the year. <laughs> Elden Ring is not my game of the year. Elder Ring. You see what I told you that this was going to be the best game of 2022. <laughs> oh. It took it took home less awards, and by that standard, it did not reach game of the year. I don't give a f what nobody say. It is not game of the year. <laughs> and most of the niggas telling you that you have they no didn't beat the game. power here. Bulls. Bullshit, bullshit. That was the most bullshit call I've ever seen. Elden Ring is not game of the year. For those of you who don't know what a weeaboo is, that's nasty. Pump, 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 pump. Man, get these suckers off stage. They can't even speak English. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Like that, like that's not an average, bro. That's not even. That's weird. That's like some. That's like some rig type shit for real. If one more you suckers say cope, you're literally uh, getting so banned. Can, Let me see I that word know. one more time. Uh, I'm gonna show you, you how I cope. FBI, open up! Uh, Muted says, Fratanga plays sends his regard. I don't know who the f those people are. There is no f***ing salt. Do you see any salt here, you dumb bitches? There's no salt here. I'm happy that Elden Ring won. I am. I'm ecstatic that Elden Ring won. Okay. Because that lets me know the world's going to end soon. Uh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. <laughs> Well, Fred, am I actually seeing this for real right now? Are you actually in the lands between? Did you really become an Elden Ring character? Well, uh, no. You're actually hallucinating and tripping really hard right now. You probably don't remember this, but about five seconds ago, I pulled out my bag of Elden Ring salt, and you guys just face planted in it. Who knows how long it's really gonna last? But as we speak, you're face down in a pile of salt, unconscious and choking on your own vomit. And I have no interest in saving your life. If you overdose, you overdose. All I really gotta say is you guys picked the perfect perfect way to die. Consuming one of the most potent substances on the planet. The sacred Elden Salt. The DEA tried their hardest to keep it off the streets, but it's back. I'm ready to change. Right after I smoke salt. One more time. So if you were too busy living life, you may not have known that Elden Ring won game of the year. Yeah, I know it's as unexciting as the Oscars and Emmys, but remember it's not the actual events that matter. It's the fallout of those events. And let's face it, between all the communities, the uh, PC cuck race, the Nintendrones, the Xbox, the Sony ponies, we know only one of these groups was emotionally invested in their favorite game winning. Well, I mean, I say favorite, but let's face it, any PlayStation game winning would have been good enough for them. As long as no other video game that isn't published by PlayStation wins the award, ponies will rest easy and put the noose and knife away. Hell, they were so desperate for Elden Ring not to win that they were capping for Stray as game of the year. They even thought Horizon Forbidden West had a chance.
sense. And if there's anything I've learned about the Horizon series, is the more faith you put into it, the less awards it wins. Hey, I just got my game of the year. Hey, I'm getting my next. Hey, I doubt it. Let's face it, Elden Ring was a juggernaut here. And considering the game of the year is nothing more than a popularity contest, it's great to see ponies get a taste of their own medicine. Now they're downplaying the game awards, calling Jeff Keighley corrupt, saying it was all rigged and biased, even though a good chunk of the nominations were all dominated by PlayStation titles. Bruh, it's rigged. It's fing rigged. Look at that. Nobody's even excited. Everyone's like. Get the f off the stage, bro. You gave God of War six different awards out of the ten it was nominated for. Elden Ring got three awards, I believe. Yeah, three awards or two. Yeah. So it got half of what God of War got, and it, and it makes it game of the year. And make it. Crazy? You gotta make, make it, it make sense, sense to me. Make it makes sense. Like that. Like that's not an average, bro. That's not even. That's weird. That's like some. That like some rig type shit for real though. But you know yeah, exactly. Do you hear that, Elon Musk? The game awards are rigged. You're gonna have to buy the game awards now. This injustice will not stand. The award show that PlayStation is notoriously known for sweeping almost every year. Yeah, it's been rigged against them. That's why God of War got over 10 nominations and took home six awards, and why PlayStation titles were the most nominated ones. Yeah, exactly. It's all rigged. Six awards wasn't enough for God of War. It had to take all of them. Elden Ring doesn't deserve a single one look i'm gonna be honest with you even miyazaki himself wasn't expecting to win you can see it on the man's face when it's announced his game won he didn't have a speech prepared for any of this and that's probably because elden ring won best game direction which let's be fair is the exact same thing as game of the year so we were all expecting god of war to take the second game of the year award but the biggest surprise was that elden ring took both playstation fanboys are so accustomed to sony winning every year at this award show that the one time they don't win they think it's all rigged it's a popularity concept a contest and who, what's more popular a multi-platform title or a game that's on ps4 and 5 the game that's on multiple platforms jeff Kelly votes what? like this all the time what oh yeah you know that's why red dead 2 won game of the year over god of war back in 2018 that's why doom eternal won game of the year over the last of us 2 what was that Put down the whippets, I got all of that wrong? Oh, my bad, my bad. I was just trying to help JTEC prove his point that Jeff Keighley votes like this all the time. It's, it's no conspiracy. It's no who's yep. pulling the strings, who's not. If you watched enough of these award shows like I have, you know how he goes. He goes okay. with the safe bet. The game that's available on multiple platforms. When has that ever been true? Breath of the Wild, God of War, The Last of Us 2, Uncharted. Some of the most popular multi-plat games lost to PlayStation exclusive titles plenty of times at these award shows. Hell, the majority of nominations were all PlayStation titles at this award show. They did whatever they could to cram in as many PlayStation games in the nominations as possible. The fact that Stray was a runner-up for one of the best action games of the year should make it all that much more obvious to you and i knew jeff Keighley was gonna do that shit everybody knew it i knew it y'all knew it we all knew that they were gonna give it to just give it to uh elden ring that's why they oh, were yeah. like okay we're gonna give you a concession sony we're gonna give you a shitload of awards and nominations but we're giving it to elden ring elden ring is a more popular title you know, you know, this is this is why I'm I'm a, I'm a feeling they don't um Jeff Keel is the one that's pulling the strings, because they say that um when you um you, you when you when you vote, whatever you vote for, it's not it's not percent of um nine percent of it is the judges that are making the choices. So at the end of the day, I think Jeff Keel is the one that's making all these decisions. At the end of the day, true with you, it doesn't matter who does. Oh, the denial, the utter denial. I love it. I love it! We're coming up with conspiracy theories as to why God of War Ragnarok didn't win. Jeff Galea was him behind the scenes. He did everything to ensure God of War wouldn't win. Even though he's basically handed awards to Sony non-stop, giving them the most nominations, gave them the most awards at the show. He's ultimately the one that screwed Sony over. It was supposed to be a clean sweep. No other games deserve what Sony gets. Isn't it funny? Whenever a PlayStation game wins, game of the year it's the most prestigious award with the most credibility but the minute any multi-plat game wins it's a conspiracy against sony Rigged. 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 Rigged.
Rigged. Rigged. We'll be celebrating the past Rigged. video game music. Rigged. Shut up. Rigged. Rigged. Game is trash, bro. We want all voting to stop. I don't know how a game that didn't have any memorable characters that anybody could bond with, any, you know, emotional story or anything like that beats out games that had that. Oh, would you look, everyone? It's one of the most memorable characters of the year. Quantum TV, the man I'm still convinced to this day doesn't actually exist. In fact, the more I look at him on screen, the more I'm convinced he's CGI generated. And as you can see, the animators keep f***ing up his eyes. Look at the way they move. Well, either way, I'm very happy this game that has uh, no story or memorable characters beat out the movie games. You should be happy too. These are the game awards, not the Oscars. The only thing this game had was difficulty, and if you add an easy mode, half the player base would disappear, but okay, whatever, yeah, that's game of the year. Let's see what happens in 2023. Oh, in 2023, I bet you'll still be bitching about this game and the community, because if you haven't stopped bitching about the difficulty months later, I doubt you're gonna stop years later. I love how he considers the challenge of a game to be the least important aspect of it versus the story and graphics. Game of the year should be judged based off how good the story is versus how good the game is. That's the mentality he has. A video game being a video game is the most irrelevant part of a video game. Can you believe all it has going for it is its gameplay? How dare they? That's like saying inebriation is the only thing alcohol has going for it. No shit. Elden Ring players aren't picking up the game expecting it to be a cinematic experience. And yet, even though it tries its hardest not to be a cinematic experience, it still has one of the best stories of the year with some of the most memorable characters. Sadly, those are things Quantum TV couldn't discover in the game because it doesn't have an easy mode. And the fact that he's kept barred from this game for that reason is worthy of giving Elden Ring Game of the Generation alone. Absolute clown shit. It's literally an open world with a bunch of random bosses. That's it. That is literally it. That's Elden Ring. How does that win game of the year? Well, I guess, I mean, they had to give it to them because, you know, it wouldn't be fair to, to, to God of War that they went back to back. Bone Daddy says, bro, got a reality check. I didn't get any reality check. The true winner is God of War. That's nasty. China, China. propaganda. That's all this is, bro. This is just China, China trying to take over, bruh. <laughs> well, damn it, I knew those tariffs wasn't gonna stop them. Vote red if you wanna stop From Software from spreading their propaganda in America. I remember when this was a country founded on Western games and American built software. China will never make anything as daring or brave as The Last of Us 2. American products are where it's at. We shouldn't be letting these Chinese developers take game of the year. Americans don't play Elden Ring. What are you talking about? Americans play God of War. What are we talking about? This is interference, bruh. This is disgusting. This is uh, uh, the Biden administration. What is Joe Biden doing? Well, I don't know, probably eating ice cream and talking about corn pop. I highly doubt the man has anything to do with Elden Ring. If you haven't noticed, Biden isn't a man who likes a challenge. He can barely ride his bicycle. What makes you think he'll ever pick up a controller? And you're right. I know, I agree with you. There should be more people playing God of War. But sadly, the uh, Chinese company from Software's games are just too popular. We only had 5 million playing God of War at launch, while we had 12 million playing Elden Ring. This is an absolute disgrace to democracy. The Japanese company Sony is supposed to be the strongest in America. Henry K say it's only game, why do you have to be mad? It's only game? What are you? Are you Elden Ring? Are you from Elden Ring? I can tell because of your f***ing garbage, garbage super chat. Did you come from GCU? Huh? It's only game? Why do you have to be mad? Bitch, what? What are you talking about? I'm not mad. I'm only, it's only game. Why do you have to be mad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. 
the memes just fly right over this man's head. He's trying to out troll the trolls, but he's failing. People are super chatting just to meme on him, and he's upset about getting their money. Oh, he's mads. He's big mads. If there's anything I've learned from witnessing someone suffer from a bad case of the big mads, is that each time you remind them that they're angry, they'll raise their voice and deny it and get a lot more pissed. I've never seen someone terminally big mads, but Lucas may be the first one. Are we gonna deny really that there was no interference? All, all, all jokes aside. You're gonna regret that! <laughs> Are we really gonna deny this wasn't, there was no interference in this? There was no interference. They won cl uh, clean and fair. Come on, bruh. Oh, Lucas, has nobody ever taught you how to properly troll? You're never supposed to set the jokes aside. Now, all of this is coming from a place of legit anger and frustration. You've made it worse for yourself. What was supposed to be a funny performative art has now become a legit rant. Control yourself, Lucas. It was funny when you were playing along with the meme. Now it's just plain pathetic. It's literally just demon souls, bruh. Yes. It's literally just bloodborne, bruh. It's the same thing over and over again. That's what we've been waiting for. This is why the gaming community is dead. The gaming community is dead. I called it. I called it a while ago. The gaming community is dead because they want more quality games like Bloodborne and Demon Souls. Uh, rejection makes you stronger. You're naive. What made you think God of War was even close to greatness as Elden Ring? The audacity even think. What are you talking about? Greatness? Elder Ring isn't great. You can create that in a fucking weekend. It's a mass, it's an open world with no fucking story with a bunch of bosses. That's literally it. That is Elden Ring. What are we talking about? There's no narrative. There is no challenge. There is no depth. What are we talking about here? Are you guys crazy? This is the argument every single PlayStation fanboy has. It's got no story, it's got no narrative, it's not deep, and now they're claiming it's not a challenge. At this point, you can't convince me they don't have the big mads. It's not exactly easy to form compelling arguments when you have a case of the big mads. This man legitimately believes everything he's saying about Elden Ring. He's been conditioned by other PlayStation fanboys into parroting these talking points. If that's what you guys are playing, it's an open world with a bunch of random bosses all over the place. And you guys think that it's a good thing that you can go to like the end of the game and play the end boss. Oh, I love the freedom. I love the freedom. No, that's called lazy game design. You heard it right. Having a linear game with one ending and one storyline and giving the player no freedom and choosing any of the outcomes are the hardest games to make. Goddamn role-playing games and their multiple choices and freedom. That's lazy. Players being able to choose where they want to go, play how they want, and choose how they want the story to end takes absolutely no effort in designing. It's lazy. None of it is as well thought out as giving players a single linear option like God of War. Mr. Tesso's Hall for Tanga and get good at Elden Ring, let the salt flow. I don't know who that is, bruh. I don't know who that is. No, stop it, Lucas. We've been down this road before. My name's been brought up to you at least four times, especially when I'm in the middle of stream sniping you. You'd figure after running away from multiple attempts at me calling you, you'd remember who I am. It was at this point in your stream where your entire chat kept telling you to call me. There was no way in hell you didn't see it, and I know very well that you know who I am and you've seen my videos. Quit being a coward, Lucas. Could you imagine how much we could milk a back and forth between you and me think of all the potential ad revenue and super chats you could be raking in right now but no he's scared i'm gonna hurt him sorry lucas i have a pro wrestler's mentality when it comes to drama promise you i'll protect you safely and i won't drop you on your head like owen hart dropped stone cold on his head make gaming great again they will not replace us they will not replace me. Okay, Kanye West, I think that's where we're gonna end it. There is a lot I had to cut out, a lot I had to edit, and have peer-reviewed just to ensure Granny Susan won't hit me with the limited ads. Because it happens quite often with Amazing Lucas videos. 
and to think we're barely just scratching the surface. There is so much salt from PlayStation fanboys over Elden Ring winning game of the year. And uh, based on the way you're looking at me, I can tell it still wasn't enough. Well, don't worry, there's plenty more to come. This is just the beginning. I still have to cover the Twitter salt. And while we're all sitting here laughing at the PlayStation fanboys because Elden Ring won game of the year, we're forgetting there's another person in the room just as salty, and that's me. Do you have any idea how much editing I'm gonna have to do? I don't think I'm even gonna be able to celebrate New Year's Eve or Christmas with the amount of work that these ponies just put on my hands. Damn you, Miyazaki! Why did you have to make such a good game? Couldn't you just let the ponies have one year? Last year was bad for them, but this year? All the salt we're compiling is gonna spill over into the next year. Good job, From Software. Now I'm salty, so I better end the video before somebody makes a response to me being salty about this. With that being said, you should consider liking, commenting, or sharing and subscribing if you so choose to. I dread having to say this, but I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Every Congo sucks ass.